Hi, thanks for buying a solo wheel. This short video will show you how to get started. Not only is a solo wheel convenient, green, and portable, I also think it's pretty fun. I hope you will too. The solo wheel is the smallest, greenest, most convenient people mover ever invented. This gyro stabilized electric unicycle is compact and fun to ride and is intended to be used as you would use an electric bicycle. The manual in this DVD will help you set up and use your solo wheel. It is important that you adhere to all safety warnings and cautions that appear throughout and that you use good judgment when riding your solo wheel. Remember when you learned to ride a bike? You probably started in a safe location and had someone help you learn. You started slowly. This applies to the solo wheel as well. If you follow all the instructions we provided for you, you should be able to teach yourself how to ride the solo wheel. Transportation that provides you with an easy, uncomplicated ride is the goal of the solo wheel. So get on and get going wherever you are. After unpacking the solo wheel, plug it in to charge. A red light on the battery charger will indicate that the unit is charging. The red light will turn off when the solo wheel is fully charged. Turn on the power by pushing this button. A solid light means it's on. If it's flashing red and green, reset it by turning it off and on again. If it's blinking red, recharge the battery. As you unfold the foot platforms, note that the solo wheel can face either direction. The secret to riding the solo wheel is how you hold onto it with your legs. Position your first foot on the platform so that the leg pad rests against your lower leg. You will know you have the right position when you feel it's stable and you can control it. If your foot is too far back, or too far away from the pad, the solo wheel will be wobbly and not steady enough for you to get on it. When you can hold the solo wheel steady with one foot, you're ready to step on with your other one. Stand up straight, don't crouch, and don't hold on to the handle. One small push will give you a little forward momentum, which can help with your balance. Don't push too hard or it will throw you off balance. Now that you have both feet on the platforms, you'll want to get some speed. Lean forward smoothly with a straight back and legs. Remember to hold on using your legs against the pads. You can't control the solo wheel if you're in the wrong position. The solo wheel accelerates in response to your leaning forward. Do not lean forward too quickly or the motor will not be able to catch up with you. When the solo wheel is on, don't lift it off the ground. This will cause the wheel to spin freely. Once in position on the solo wheel, rest your calves comfortably against the leg pads. To balance, don't let yourself tip sideways. Instead, use a twisting motion to balance left and right. To turn, lean slightly in the direction you want to go. Remember, twist your feet for balance and steering, and for turning, lean the wheel in the direction you want to turn. To stop riding the solo wheel, lean back to slow down and step off. Turn the solo wheel off and fold up the platforms. Now you're ready to carry the solo wheel with you to wherever you want to go. When first learning to ride the solo wheel, you need to use the included learning band. Attach it to the handle and hold it comfortably at waist level. Use it to keep the solo wheel from falling over and getting scratched, should you lose your balance and need to step off. Following these simple instructions will help you get started on your solo wheel quickly and easily. Please refer to our website at www.solowheel.com for more helpful videos and writing tips.